Once you've killed the one reborn, I would recommend getting rid of all of your insight. So, preferably just buy some fire paper, but you could also save up for bloodstone chunks, and yeah, I know it's very expensive. And then, of course, you could also buy a little bit of armor here and there, but mostly just fire paper and bolt paper. Just use that up, because the lower your insight, the higher your frenzy resistance. And then you want to head to the second floor of the lecture building. Once here, just open this. And then I'd also recommend equip the beak mask. You get that from Eileen's questline or just whatever has the highest frenzy resistance. In comparison, maybe Henrik's cap. And then after that, you're going to want the hunter garb fully. Oh shoot, where's my hunter garb? Uh, I might have sold it. <laughs> And then just the hunter trousers because you're going to be going to an area with a lot of frenzy damage so you want to have the highest resistance you can then you'll just want to come straight through here and if you have items known as sedatives those will be very helpful but for right now you don't need any sedatives because this area is very quick and then obviously you could just use your blood vials to heal up whenever you're getting impacted by frenzy. So keep that in mind. Right about here there's a scurrying beast you can run into. I would just recommend kill this fellow so that you can get to the scurrying beast in peace. So whack him to death. And then he's going to summon little worms once he's dead, so you can ignore those. Obviously, if you have Molotov cocktails, just use those to make these guys go down very easily. And then you can gather a few bloodstone chunks in here, but I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Right over here, you have this. And you just want to heal up. You'll be taking a little bit of chip damage, as well as some frenzy build up so be careful of that you can just run straight through you shouldn't get fully overwhelmed by your frenzy especially if you've been following what i said which is high frenzy resist armor and no insight or very low insight as you can see you're all out of frenzy and i just want to run straight through you can pick up like a bloodstone chunk here or there over that way but you can just run past these guys, run in here. And then they may throw something at you, or that guy will try and attack you. And then as you can see, he doesn't exactly follow you in. Once you get in here, there's a whole bunch of spiders. But you can actually come up this way. Maybe kill this spider. You can grab a neat look. What the heck? What's this guy doing? Very suspicious. But yeah, just rip them apart. And then you can grab this. Once that's done, you could just come up here and just take out two more spiders. You can also just avoid most of the spiders by coming up here. Because as you can see they can't exactly do anything, see? They're just ignoring you and then you just want to hop off. I wouldn't recommend grabbing this, but you could do that. And as you can see, most of those spiders, they're just ignoring you. And so, you just run on through here. Worst case, if the spiders are following you, they can get stuck over there, but sometimes they won't. This guy, you just want to run past him. Kind of a dangerous fellow. And then... You can just run on through. Oh, you might be able to grab something right here. That guy's a big bother. And yeah, yellow backbone isn't even worth it. It's just for chalice dungeons. But once that's over, obviously, you know, you could just grab whatever. There's a area down here, but it's not all that bad. Right outside, you get this. But you can unlock that elsewhere. 
Once you're back up here though, I mean it's nice easy access to this area in case you die, but you just want to come out this way. And over here I think you could grab some blue elixir, just want to loop around this left side. Right here, and then you can roll off the big creatures, those big metal people, very dangerous. And you want to be very careful here so as not to fall out the edges. As you can kind of see, you may want a torch just to make things easier. Right here, just by coming to the left, you'll just want to sort of roll around that enemy. And then come over here. Be very careful when coming here because, as you just saw, you can still get shot. And you don't need to bother sending that elevator down because, as you can see, there's like no enemies. Maybe the dogs. <laughs> It's really weird the kinds of enemies they make in this game. Half dog, half crow. They put the two most annoying enemies together. So the boss fight is through there, but you get a neat little shortcut right here. So you'll end up out here. Neat little cage, and then this. Worst case, if you send the cage up on accident, you just activate this and then you can head up. In the next video, we'll be taking on Mikolash, host of the Nightmare. See ya.